there guys! I'm going to be doing my menu planning for the week and I thought I would show you how I've been doing that lately. Um, this is an update of a previous video that you can see in the corner there. Um, that one, I don't remember actually, <laughs> it was a while ago. But um, recently I've just found that the hardest part of menu planning was the actual act of choosing what we're going to have each night. Um, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's the hardest part. And so uh, what I did was I developed a silly little system that has kind of been working okay for me and just alleviating a lot of the uh, stress involved. Um, and I wanted to share it with you. So here's just a list of what we're going to have this week. Um, so I made this spread. I basically took all the meals that we make regularly and I put them on lines. Um, there's one blank line here to be able to fill in with something that maybe I forgot before I crossed off corned beef because you ran out of the briskets in the freezer and so I replaced it with quiche that I had forgotten to put. So it's basically just a list of meals that we like to make and you notice there's 20 of them. And how many sides are on a D20, I ask you. Okay, so we're going to be sort of randomly assigning meals to days and then that kind of takes the stress of the decision off. Um, first we fill out like I'm filming this on Monday. Um, I usually try to do the menu planning over the weekend but we had visitors it didn't happen. So tonight I'm going to go grocery shopping and I'm just going to pick up a take and bake pizza. Uh, so I know that that's that. Uh, Friday we usually go over to um, our in-laws house but just in case we don't I think I'm going to just get stuff to make tuna melts because that will keep. And then I believe that really is it. I like to do crock pot meals on either Wednesday or Thursday. So maybe if one of those pops up, we'll put it there. And then we don't really have any weekend plans yet. So I usually, I don't know, I can put like one meal on the weekend and then we always end up having leftovers, you know, so it's, it's not an exact thing and we don't stick to this rigorously or religiously, but let's go ahead and roll that die. 17 is carne asada fries. We actually kind of did this last week, but we have the fries. So let me put that on Tuesday. We just need to get, we have fries in the freezer already. Let's roll again. Eight is white chicken chili. That's made in the crock pot. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that on Wednesday. Number two is kielbasa and pierogies. Um, that's easy to make and it also keeps. So if we end up not needing it, that would be fine. Okay. And number three is tacos. So if we have leftover carne asada, maybe we would do that like on a different day, but I'm just going to add it here because that's where it's I can get carne asada for the tacos. I think we might still have tortillas. Let me just roll it one more time and see what we get. Seven is mac and cheese. Yeah. Okay, I'll grab that too because it also keeps. And then we don't have to worry about having extra uh, food in the fridge all ready to go. All right, so now what we have to do is make our grocery list. So first of all, I'm, I'm fancy. So I'm going to get a cheese pizza and a can of anchovies and a thing of mushrooms because I like mushroom anchovy pizza. Uh, then we need the carne asada. I think last time we got three pounds of meat and it wasn't enough. I mean, it was too much. Let's just do two pounds for both the fries and the tacos. Now for the chili, I always forget what we need. This is my recipe binder. This lives in the kitchen. Um, and I've just basically printed out a lot of the recipes that I use regularly. And I think it'll be near the, uh, here we go. This is the chili recipe that I use. 
and it's fine. It's very easy to make, which I like. So I need three cans of beans. We have chicken in the freezer. We have salsa. I need to get eight ounces of Jack. And then we have chicken broth. We need chips. Very good. So all of these recipes are basically I find them online and so I actually have a link to them on my Chrome tabs, you know, so I can find it when I'm out and about on my phone or at work or whatever if I happen to be doing this not in the house. Um, we need kielbasa. I believe we ate the last of our pierogies. And we also finished off our sauerkraut so we need to get more. Tuna, and we have American cheese, I think you get tomato soup. We have pickles and I can spell soup and mayonnaise, so we're good there. Um, I'm gonna put here an asterisk next to tortillas because I think we still have some, but I'm gonna check before I leave the house. Uh, let's see, let's get an avocado. So we have we have shredded cheddar, um, maybe a tomato, and then we need a box of mac and cheese. I've tried making homemade mac and cheese. I just prefer the stuff in the box. And then I think we might actually still have hot links. All right. So that should be everything that's for dinners. I'll throw some extra things on here that we need. I know we need milk, for example. So I'll go ahead and go through the kitchen and add stuff to the list before I head to the store. Uh, but that is how I do it, basically. And then when I put it on my weekly, um, I did a weekly plan with me of this spread, which is up there. Um, and here I had like a little like, check box thing. Um, or an Alistair kind of situation. It seems silly because I ended up just eat, doing them in the order that I had written them down. Um, so here I have the same section, but I'm just going to make a list and cross them off once we've eaten them. But this will just remind me of what we have stuff for. So if I come to the day and I go, Ugh, I really don't want to deal with the crock pot or oops, I forgot to put the crock pot on. What else do we have? There's the list very handy and ready to go. So that's how it's done. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found that useful or interesting or maybe inspiring. This really has just alleviated a lot of stress. And instead of sitting there going, oh, I don't know what to eat. We had that last week, whatever. It's like, yeah, we had tacos last week, but the dice has spoken. Uh, sorry, the die has spoken. It has been cast. And then therefore, it's like not my fault anymore. And honestly, my husband doesn't mind if you have the same food twice in, you know, successive weeks. It's, it's fine. As long as we're fed, everyone's happy. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos twice a week and I will see you guys in the next one on Sunday. Bye.